Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video with me. And today I'm going to share with you how I created this super bright and quick card using Sweet Poppy stencils, a stamp from Sweet Poppy stencils, as well as some Lavinia stamps. So did you know that from this week, Sweet Poppy stencils are stocking some of the Lavinia stamps. So I've used the gorgeous little Pippin and the miniature star set. The main stencil that I'm using here is this fabulous sunburst stencil from Sweet Poppy stencils. And then this sentiment is from the set called A6 Postmark. There's a whole heap of sentiments in that. Great for Christmas, but I thought this one lent itself really well to this card. The colours that I'm using are Fossilised Amber, Barn Door and Crackling Campfire. Now, the theme for the Sweet Poppy Stencils Creative Challenge this month is Hot Summer Colours. So that's why I've chosen those colours. I've stamped the main images in Versafine Claire Nocturne. We'll get started. So first of all, I'm going to take my magnetic sheet and half an A4 piece of card. I'm going to pop my stencil there. So I'm going to cut the card down to size when I am finished. I'm just going to use some of the fabulous Sweet Poppy Stencil Low Tack Tape. It's the best low tack tape I've ever found. And if you've watched me before, you will know that I say that every time. So I apologize for repeating myself, but it is, it is the best. It never marks your card, no matter how long you've taped it down onto the back of the card or anything. I'm going to use my stencil brushes. I've got an assortment here just because I use different ones for different colors, but you don't need one for each one. We'll get started. I'm going to start with fossilized amber. And I'm going to ink up my blending sponge. Take the first bit off. And I'm just going to, in a circular motion, create pieces of colour around this gorgeous sunburst stencil. I'm starting with yellow because then if I place my orange and my ready colours on top of it, they won't create mud. <laughs> there we go. So that's enough for my fossilised amber. I'm going to take Barn Door next. And again, inking up that blending sponge. And I'm just going to pop different pieces of this barn door around the stencil. You can have so much fun with this, right? You do not have to overthink it. Each time you do it, it'll come out differently, but that's okay. You can see what I'm doing here is that I had a pot of yellow there and I'm bringing this barn door into the yellow so it doesn't look like I've got a blob of yellow, blob of red. And by keeping it moving in a circular motion, you're going to create an even blend of colour. There we go. I'm actually going to use the same stencil there, so I'm just going to take my towel, rub it off. Because it's the same colour way, it's not that desperate that I take all the ink off. But, there we go. So, you, as I say, I'm having lots of fun with this. Right? You're just moving it in a circular motion. So, you get in, because there's some very fine little dots in this clever stencil. So, then what I'm going to do is, I don't have much ink on my sponge. I'm going to flick it from the outside here into the centre of the circle so that, I'll show you my original, so that we can get this lovely little glow around the centre of the circle there. And I'm just going to do it ever so slowly, ever so lightly, because it's far better to have it lighter than darker, because we can just 
add layers to create extra depth to it, but it's more difficult to take it away. So you can see I'm just gently, gently building up this colour here. I'm just going to take that speck off in the middle. That, by the way, I got this idea from Eileen Goodwin. It's just a um, paintbrush from the hardware store. Um, but the bristles, and I keep it in a drawer so that no dust can um, come onto it. But I use it for flicking away the dust from my projects. Okay, and so now I'm going to go and fill in every single little dot, making sure I've got no gaps anywhere around my stencil. There's a bit of a gap here. There we go. Voila. So as I said, you can do this with any colors, any colors you like. But as I say, I just thought that the creative challenge this month, and if you haven't entered it before, if you enter, you select it by a random number generator and you could win £40 to spend on the Sweet Poppy website. So there we have, look, isn't that fun? So each time you do it, you'll land up with a slightly different look, depending on how much yellow you put in, or at the blend of each of the colours. And then I would trim it down and do my stamping. So I'm using the tiny little Pippin. He's only a pound, but he is so versatile and he's gorgeous. He's so he's looking so inquisitive. So I'm just tap tap tapping to make sure I've got a decent amount of ink onto my stamp. And I'm just going to pop him bottom left. I'm not going to create any shading underneath him because I feel like the orange shading that I've used around the edge is enough. I'm now going to take my miniature star stamp and I'm going to pop couple of these so he's sort of looking up at the stars now when I'm double stamping a stamp like this I will just make sure that I turn it a couple of times so that way it doesn't all look exactly uniform and in the same direction and then finally I'm going to take my sentiment from that postmark set and I'm just going to pop it there. So there we create a balance in the whole design and then I will chop it down and mount it. So what I've mounted it on here is there's a bit of orange cardstock and I put a three millimeter border all the way around. And then I mounted it onto my black card and I gave it a six millimetre border. So by doing that, it really frames the whole picture. I hope you like it. I'd love to see your take on it and I'll be back soon. Thanks.